Thanks for listening. This is Brian Hurley from Business Performance Improvement. The podcast, Lean Six Sigma Bursts, are short lessons, comments, Q&A, and insights. If you have a question, send your question through the Anchor app, and we might feature you on a future episode. Or contact me at biz-pi.com. Let me pause for a moment to tell you about our sponsor, Creative Safety Supply. Creative Safety Supply is a great resource for free guides, infographics, and continuous improvement tools. I recommend starting with their 5S guide. It includes breakdowns of the five pillars, ways to begin implementing 5S, and even organization tips and color charts. From red tags to floor markings, it's all there. Download it for free at creativesafetysupply.com slash 5S. Can James Bond tell the difference between a martini that's shaken but not stirred, right? So that's his famous line. Um, so if we were to write that out as a null hypothesis, we would say he cannot tell the difference. That's a default. And then what we'd have to do is collect evidence that says he can tell the difference between uh, the way the martinis were prepared. What would be some evidence and some data we could collect that's unbiased and would be a, a, a true assessment of that? Well, we could take um, 20 different martinis and shake or stir them and then give them to him to test out and record his answer. And he's got a 50-50 chance of guessing correctly, right? So we'd have to look at how many of them he got right to know if he actually could tell the difference. So if he got 16 out of 20 correct, which would be that he got 80% of them right, the chance of him guessing correctly 16 out of 20 is only like half less than 1%, 0.6% chance. And anytime we find the scenario that somebody did better than uh, less than 5% chance, then we're probably gonna consider that a statistical difference. So in that case, if he got 16 out of 20 correct, even though he didn't get 100% correct, it would say that he has the ability to test better than chance. He didn't, if he had got 55% or 60% or even maybe 70% right, that might not be enough evidence to say he can tell the difference. He might have just got lucky on some guesses. And so we look at the actual results and try to do it as fairly and honestly and um, and uh, scientifically sound as possible. And then we compare the results against chance. And that's, that chance is kind of like the null hypothesis. What would he have gotten as a score if he didn't know anything about martinis, right? He got, I would have got 50% chance right on average, right? I've got a 50-50 chance if I'm just picking between two options. So then if he got 16 out of 20, the, the statistics would say that's pretty unlikely to just guess that that well. You know, you're going to guess 10 right on average. If you got 16, that means you probably know something about the difference. You can pick up some difference there. So the conclusion was that uh, does not it does not prove he's guessing, but it's more likely that he is able to tell a difference. But if he came out to like 12 out of 20 correct, that would not be enough evidence. That percentage would probably be over 5%, so we wouldn't really... Uh, draw that same conclusion because he's a little too close to just guessing. All right, so that's how we're going to run our test here is we got to collect the data and compare our results. And that probability is what's going to tell us whether that is a good result or not. LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com has a list of glossary items about popular process improvement terms along with the history of Lean and Six Sigma methods and key influencers like Dr. Edward Stemming, Henry Ford, Taichi Ono, Shigeo Shingo, and many more. You can also learn how to access affordable Lean and Six Sigma training and certification. Visit LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com.